She's so bossy, I love her. 8.45 on a Wednesday is Susie Wall time. Chatelaine on newsstands, always going to Chatelaine. You know what, I'm going on vacation. I'm so taking my Chatelaine. Yeah, fall harvest, there it is. All right. yeah, you can get it on next issue as well. Right now we're talking about that. I'm, I'm a little nervous because I do get a little slobbish. When I go <laughs> I home, I walk the dogs, I have my nap, <clears> and then I'll put on my cutoffs with my running top, and it's just like, mm, maybe the Birkenstocks weren't the right idea. <laughs> I'm not exactly right. Rockin well, if they've the got undone. a little sheen to them, Birkenstocks are a great way for done. It's actually done undone. That's okay. what we're calling okay. it. So you basically are trying to look like you haven't put any effort into your outfit, but you actually have. Okay. <laughs> so we're seeing a lot of it these days. It's kind of, you know, the ripped jeans look, um, but always have your nails looking nice. Right. Or, you know, I'm always talking about if you're wearing a party dress, make sure that your hair is not too fussy. You don't want to be bridesmaid hair and fancy. You need to kind of mix and match in terms of vibe. So right. there are a few hallmarks to this look a few pieces that you can get to really incorporate it so we're gonna have some Pinterest inspiration mm. the white dress shirt um, this is an oversized boyfriend version she's wearing it like a dress but doesn't she look adorable she looks adorable and you know what strikes me here is the little ankle sock sport ankle socks with the little sort of booty yeah and we're gonna get into that look too um, wow. the brogue look at those brogues anyways you know what? <gasps> another great tip though on a white shirt if you want to really take it to the next level let's hold on this shot but if you want to take it to the next level swap your buttons out for black buttons and Ooh. into the fall winter it will look like you spent ten times the amount on that shirt it'll look so tailored and cool I think everyone should have one tailored dress shirt that's white and one kind of rumply roll up the sleeves version that's right. chill uh, Aritzia is great for those here's a ripped jeans I want to be um, her. I know, right? Or oh, her. Or her. <laughs> I just want to be, I'll that's how I want to dress all the time. So cute, right? Little sneaks with the yep. ripped jeans. These are pretty distressed. I would recommend starting out, if you're new to this vibe, with just one clean cut along one knee or both knees. But going for the really, really overly distressed look is definitely a throwdown. Yeah. You know, that's for uh, a younger set, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a little yeah. bit junior. Um, yeah. But also, another really great look that we love is the bag that isn't too structured to it bag. You've I, been saying this for a year I to know, me. I know. I'm the double H. I yeah. do not spend on handbags or on heels. Like, I don't invest a ton. I'm hard on my clothes. I wear my clothes. I lose my clothes. <laughs> Gemma and her felt pens will destroy my bags. Mm -hmm. And oh, it's just cute. not worth it. That's just, I mean, how cute is that? It's just sort of, sort of like a rattan, like a basket Hello, weave. France. But, right? But look at, she's got it with a cute little skirt and a really dressy top. Yeah. So she's dressed up, but she's contrasted with something that isn't the big, fancy, monogram, status bag. I don't want to carry something that's worth a car. Right, right. You right. know, if I put it down and I, you know, put it into something or something. I don't need a bag. Uh, no. no. And there's controversy around uh, that. Oh, yeah, I know. Too. I saw that video of those right? alligators. Oh, yeah. But uh, um, another really great thing, too, is the men's watch. Of course, I didn't wear mine today. <laughs> but okay. I you got love, it here. I love this look. Yeah. Okay, so we're not talking about that kind of really chunky, big, rose gold, kind of that Michael Kors uh, right. watch. Not the Rolex. Like, right. Which, yeah, like the rolly knockoff. Uh, that, and that's a cool look. I'm talking about... A, a watch, a timepiece that your dad or your granddad would have worn mm -hmm. with the big gold face, the tobacco brown leather strap, or the black leather strap. And here she's blinged it up a little bit. But I love this concept of you're dressed up, oh, I have to layer on the bling. You don't. Dress it down a little bit with Great something idea. like that, right? Gra Grandpa's watch. Right? Grandpa's I have one watch. in a shadow box. I'm going to do that. Grandpa's bro. With some Let's pretty little accents, not yeah, too chunky. Yeah, some delicate, you know, yeah. some yeah. great Vancouver designers, Melanie Alder, throw in something that's a, a, a cool accessory. Brogues, love it. It's not about the height of the heel. It's about where the dress hits. Notice that she was just to the knee. Here's a great vibe with the, the vest. The, I'm like Linus with the blanket with my vest. Right, you a are. A great kind of gender bender vibe that's casual. Yeah. But I dig it. Okay, that's how to do the undone without looking like a slob. I think that's <laughs> going to work for me, Susie Wall. Thank you so much. Uh, next week, we're talking about moving tips. Get ready. Moving. Moving with grace. With <laughs> grace. I don't think I could do that either. <laughs>